Hey guys, Steph with KillerSites.com. In this vlog, I want to answer a question uh, that may be floating around out there. And the question is, is learning to code enough to become a good web designer and web programmer? And I bring this up because what we've seen coming up these days are these code uh, testing type of websites. Now we have one called Killer Sites University and basically you watch a video and then you know, on JavaScript or on HTML or PHP or whatnot and then you immediately get a quiz, a code challenge where the system says okay type in this code so it's a little bit of JavaScript code in the case of a JavaScript uh, course or a little bit of PHP code in a PHP course so by you know learning to writing the code out that's how you actually learn by the way you got to write code it sort of helps you helps in the learning process. So we have a system like that again at Killer Sites University, and I think it's useful, but it's not the end all be all to learning. So you can expect to just uh, become a great web programmer or designer just because you understand the how to code. There's much more to the process than that. Learning how to code is is important. It's, well, it's key. It's it's fundamental, but. Beyond the coding, you have to understand a whole bunch of other things. So let's say just let's basic web design. You have to understand uh, site usability, site structure. You have to understand how uh, sites are best put together based on the particular requirements of the particular website. E-commerce based sites are very different from other types of sites. Uh, when it comes to programming, it gets even more um, uh, complex than that. You have to understand, you know, most most dynamic websites uh, they, they're backed by databases so what kind of database do you use why would you want to go from MySQL database an SQL database versus a flat file system versus an object database if you're de designing a database what's the best structure of your data how do you you know depending on the type of application that you use you know if you're gonna have millions of records uh, a few transactions that are search oriented or you're gonna have just uh, maybe hundreds of, thousands, hundreds of thousands of records instead, where there's a lot of in and outs. It, it really depends on the type of project. And it goes beyond that in terms of the architecture. How do you know what kind of architecture you're going to utilize? Typically these days, you go with MVC. Which MVC framework would you use? Now, what's MVC? Well, I'm not going to get into that in this tutorial. But it goes on and on and on. So just because you know PHP, you know how to write you know a function in PHP, you know how to write a class or or same thing in JavaScript, it doesn't mean you can sit down and, and put together a great website or a, a great web application. There's much, much more to it than that. But of course, that's the key. You still need to know this stuff. So yes, understanding code is very important, hugely important, even for web designers. But it's, 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 it's just part of the equation, part of the picture. Uh, so. I hope that answers that question. So there you go. So if you're learning code through code challenges and so on, that's great. It has to be done. But understand, it's 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 only part of the process and it's part of the learning. But it's a big part. And um, that's it.